The attack on Pearl Harbor was a pivotal event in World War II, signaling the entry of the United States into the conflict. Preparations for this event can be traced back to the 1920s, but it was during the second half of the 1930s that the Japanese came up with the idea of developing a specific aircraft capable of gathering information about the American naval ways and escaping without being intercepted. This was the experimental 12 Xi special flying boat, also called the Yokosuka H7Y1. Due to the importance of its role, the development of this aircraft occurred in the utmost secrecy. The nature of this machine turned out to be so sensitive that no photos, drawings, or any other documents survive to this day. There are a couple of drawings on the internet that reportedly show what this machine looked like, but these either represent other aircraft mistaken for the H7Y1, or are attempts to recreate the machine from written descriptions. In any case, since the history of the development of this aircraft is shrouded in mystery, little information exists on the H7Y1, and sources contradict themselves on several points. What's known is that during the planning phase of the attack on Pearl Harbor, a proposal was made for the creation of a long-range flying boat for reconnaissance missions that would be capable of flying from Japan to Hawaii and return without stopping. Given the potential advantages in information gathering regarding the naval base and all its elements, the Imperial Japanese Navy decided to build such an aircraft in 1937. Since this was a top-secret project, the Navy opted to produce this machine in its own facilities at the Yokosuka Naval Air Technical Arsenal with Jun Okamura as its chief designer. The requirements for this design were conventional for a flying boat of this era, other than the range. This new machine had to possess a range of 5,000 nautical miles, a range exceeding that of all other aircraft at the time. The only aircraft in the world that came close to this number was the German Dornia DO-26, with a maximum range of about 4,900 nautical miles. The specifications established by the Navy for this project were therefore similar to that of the Dornia flying boat. Structurally, the aircraft was a high-wing, monoplane flying boat with a crew of four. Special attention was given to drag reduction. As a result, its hull was considerably slim, while its wing, with a high aspect ratio, featured retractable out-trigger floats. Weight reduction also played a considerable part in the designing process, with the machine weighing 18 tons when loaded. Considering its similarities with the DO-26, the H7Y1 was to be powered by four Junkers Yumo 205 diesel engines, although some sources erroneously mention only two engines. These six-cylinder engines, rated at 510 horsepower 2100 RPM, were to be imported by the Navy. Following two years of building, the aircraft was ready to fly by 1939. However, the initial tests proved disappointing and evidenced a number of deficiencies. These included excessive vibrations within the center section of the wing and oscillations in the tail section carrying forward to the cockpit. The aircraft's structure also lacked rigidity and takeoff power was insufficient for the fuel load the machine was expected to carry. Additionally, directional stability was poor, among other shortcomings. While these flaws were analyzed and there were attempts to correct them, the Navy had reservations about the requirements for this type of aircraft. In fact, Okamura even claimed the Navy had no interest in developing the machine during the testing phase. Unsurprisingly, the project was abandoned, but despite the cancellation of the H7Y1 and the advantages this aircraft could bring, the attack on Pearl Harbor turned out to be an extraordinarily effective strike that changed the course of the war. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.